Hello, this is Socratic of Backstage. I'm going to tell you today a little bit about how we made a set for the biology series. We're starting a brand new series at Socratica about biology. We're doing this because I'm a biologist and all along I was really hoping to make a series about biology, but there's this funny thing that happens, at least it does for me, I don't know about you, but when you're really attached to a subject, you tend to attach a lot of importance to it. And I was so nervous about starting this series and doing it wrong. Um, but something happened, I don't know. I gradually start to, started to feel that it was time to jump in and make this biology series. I was ready. So we're starting this year making videos about biology. So I've been a biologist for a really long time. My first lab job was when I was 16. I worked in a, in a lab studying Alzheimer's disease. And from there I went to Caltech and I studied biology there. I majored in molecular biology. I worked a little bit in a lab that was studying lens implants. Um, and I had the amazing experience of a few years later members of my own family started having these lens implants. So <laughs> it's so strange to like have a bit of your research start to actually help someone you know. And after college, I worked in pharmaceuticals for a while. I uh, studied immunology and um, I was working on making drugs for people with uh, autoimmune diseases. And then I went to grad school because, you know, without a graduate degree, there's only so far you can go in the laboratory setting. And so I started working in an immunology lab and also in a neurobiology lab. But while I was at Princeton, I started teaching. You know, this is part of the graduate program. You get some experience teaching. And oddly enough, that was the part of the day I looked forward to the most. I loved teaching. I loved coming up with puzzles for my students. I loved working with them in the lab. and. At one point, my graduate advisor told me, you know, if you love teaching so much, why don't you just teach? <laughs> and I was so mad <laughs> that he wasn't convincing me to, you know, continue and finish with my PhD, but instead to teach. But, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, he's really right. You know, I love teaching. This is what I want to do. Um, why do I want to spend years and years in grad school when I could be teaching right now. So amazingly, at that time, um, with the high school where I attended had a position open for a teacher. My very beloved biology teacher was retiring. And so I applied for the job and I applied to a few other places, but I was offered the position at my alma mater. And so I started teaching. I started teaching uh, AP biology and chemistry at the high school level. And this was great fun. I had so much fun teaching. You know, I got to actually have my own lab and uh, design my curriculum and teach students all about biology and chemistry. Now, after some time, I started to think, you know, I want a little more freedom. I want to be able to teach the things I want to teach, not have to deal with the administration. They're a really pain in my butt. <laughs> but um, and at the same time, uh, Michael and I were making phone apps for Socratica. And at some point we thought, wouldn't it be nice to make videos to tie in with these phone apps? So we did, and eventually we thought, why don't we just make our own little video studio? You know, why don't, why don't we make movies like we want to make? So long story short, too late, um, <laughs> this is how we wound up at Socratica making videos. And I always did want to make biology videos, of course, because I'm a biologist. But for some reason, I put that off and, you know, I was worried about them not being perfect. And this year I decided, you know, what am I waiting for? Why don't I just make these videos that I'm really interested in making? I love biology. I want to teach people about biology. So we just started. Um, I'm here in our biology set. We built a little greenhouse set to make these videos. This is, I don't know, we made this set for some kind of funny reasons. Well, the inspiration for this set 
comes from a few places. So when I first started teaching biology at the high school level, um, that was a little bit of a challenge, you know, toning down from teaching at the college level to the high school level. Even though AP Biology is ostensibly a college level course, still you are teaching younger kids and you can't do everything that you could in a college class, partly for safety reasons, you know, like we tend not to work with radioactive materials, things like that. So I wanted to get a little bit of training uh, for teaching at the high school level. So I attended this short course at the Iolani School in Hawaii, and I met this legendary biology teacher. His name is Jack Kay. He's been teaching at the Iolani School now for 50 years, <laughs> if you can even imagine. Um, he's like a great big uh, jolly Santa slash biologist. He's amazing. And I don't know, you walk into his lab and it's just filled with life. It was the most beautiful lab I had ever seen in my whole life. It was full of orchids and photos of his kids and it was just, it was gorgeous. So I've always had this in the back of my head that if I were to build my own lab, I'd build Jack Kay's lab. <laughs> or you know, I'd try to build my own version of Jack Kay's lab because it was just beautiful. And it was a place I loved to spend a lot of time in, right? Um, the other inspiration I have in the back of my head for our set is this funny scene from a Minority Report. I don't know if you've ever seen this movie, but there's a scene where our hero has to appeal to a biologist. He has to come and ask her help. And it's sort of like he's visiting a muse or something, or, you know, like he's visiting an oracle. <laughs> like this, there's this strange woman who has, you know, hidden depths and very important knowledge. And he has to convince her to share what she knows. <laughs> and, you know, you go to this, uh, or he goes into this greenhouse where she's working because, I don't know, she's growing all sorts of strange plants. And she's so mysterious and so interesting. And she has, you know, this very important knowledge that <laughs> only she can share with him. So that sounds terribly egotistical. But anyway, um, I loved the feeling of that set, you know, that here's this place where you could go and learn something important and vital. And it has to do with life and biology. And um, so this is what I had in mind for our set. And uh, so we built this little greenhouse and we're going to start with this series on biology. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.